Well, here we go. Let's start up the random and let's find out what happens in the break. Uh, we're going to be looking for the code number. The, the We're going to randomize two lists, the owner names and code numbers. So this is kind of unique and, and different from a lot of breaks. You're getting a code number. So seven times through for the owner names. All right, lucky number seven. The first random's finished. It is the number on the right side. Um, I just want to show this real quickly, make sure everybody understands what we're looking at. It's that number right there. So if, if you had the number two and we pulled this, then you would hit. Okay, so that's how that works. So it's it's kind of unusual, but sometimes these don't have years on them, and it's just the easiest way we found to do these. So it's it's pretty much completely random. <laughs> we have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see um, who's going to hit. What's it going to be? Let's send the numbers through here. Seven times. Lucky number seven. And let's stack the lists up side by side. Now you can see your number. It's time for the shipwreck coin. Shipwreck coin. Ho. Oh. Good luck in the break. What's it gonna be? Bum 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 bum. It's the number one that's gonna hit. It's Daniel M. Number one. Congratulations. So you have just pulled a shipwreck coin. Some uh, Spanish to bloom. I think is what you would call this. I don't know. I don't really know, but Colonial 2R. That's really cool. Wow. Right out of a shipwreck. Very nice. Congratulations, Daniel. I think I can see a year on it. It looks like 1761. Yeah, I believe that's a 1761. 
I could be wrong about that, but that's what it looks like to me. So anyway, nice going. Congratulations in the, the graded silver dollar.